And now for a short talk about stuff. G'day, welcome to a short talk. I just felt like discussing some stuff. Kind of random, really. First up, the new MacGyver series. I, my wife and I just watched the first two episodes. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> not bad. Kind of enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed it a fair bit. It captures all this silliness and kind of very unrealistic and just out there scenarios of the original series. But it's just updated it with new tech and new gadgets. And a little bit more flair and sizzle when it comes to selling you the stupid stuff they come up with. So we enjoyed it. It felt a little bit Jason Bourne-ish. No, wait, that's far too serious. It felt a little bit more Mission Impossible than it did anything else and we, we like the feel we like it so far i'm loving the chemistry between macgyver and jack we're only two episodes in but we're gonna see how it goes we feel like we're on a winner i actually went and bought season two first by accident so i had to go back and see it, get season one so uh... we're also pushing on through my ncos collection and we've just hit season 15 which are left out there all right season 15 We've just got into this. Now, neither of us have ever seen an episode past season 14. So this is completely new ground for us. We're really quite... In Why am I so low? So this is all new ground for us, and we're really enjoying where we're going with it. We miss Quinn. We understand a new character comes in around episode 4 or 5. But we, we miss Quinn. We thought she was really clever. But we are enjoying where this is going so far. Like Much like MacGyver, we're only like two episodes in. But we're having fun. Is this the season where Abby leaves? And McGee with a goatee. I think I'm okay with that. I think, I think I like that choice. We'll see. The next movie I'm going to review will be Jonah Hex. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I put a choice up on Facebook if it's going to be Jonah Hex or Scorched Earth. And it's ended up being Jonah Hex mainly because I've been guilted into it. Because I made a friend of mine, Phoenix, watch this ages ago. Um, because I told her it was one of the worst movies out there, blah, 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 blah. And I kind of hadn't seen it myself. It was more of a prank. And she watched it. And she's really mad at me about that. So now it's my turn to take my own medicine. And for what I understand, I'm not going to like it. On the topic of movies, the next review I'll do after that is either going to be The Black Panther. Or I'm going to start my DCEU in 5 and go with Man of Steel. I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm going to let you make a decision in the YouTube comments. Or on the Facebook page and you let me know which of those two I should be watching. And if no one comments I'll just flip a coin and feel sad about how lonely I am. We'll talk about the fact that I'm working from home at the moment. That's pretty cool. That's got some real perks. I'm actually super productive. I'm actually getting a lot done and I'm really enjoying it. I also thought I'd get a lot more distracted than I do but because I'm in work mode I just zone in and get it done and I, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I, I am I'm very happy with me for doing it as well as I am doing it thus far. What I really like though, is I could technically sleep in till 10 minutes until I start work, get up and do so in my pajamas. That, that I like, <laughs> I really do like that. And when I knock off work, I stand up, I walk what, eight feet, I sit down on my couch and I paint some miniatures. Not bad at all. Do not miss public transport one little bit. And for yet another change of topic, did you know that the old Silver Surfer cartoon is on Netflix? Netflix? Disney Plus? It's on Disney Plus. Um, I've watched it because it was there. I kind of regret it because it's really bad. It's Spider-Woman bad and it, it's kind of atrocious but captivating. You kind of just keep watching it. You can't help yourself. And the sound effects he uses when he uses his cosmic powers and the way they describe his cosmic powers all the time are... Well, uh, <laughs> grating. <laughs> it's terrible. It really is bad. Uh, and I'm going to probably watch, finish watching all of them just so I can confirm that it really is as bad as it feels. And it feels really bad. <laughs> then it's a toss up between watching the X-Men series and watching the old Spider-Man stuff. And no, not the really old stuff. That's, that's truly, truly terrible. But I, I don't know if I want to go back and watch the old X-Men. I don't know if I want to do that, mainly because I've got such good memories and I don't know if my fond nostalgia will survive the reality of how it actually was. I also, as a child, loved watching He-Man. I'd made the mistake of going and watching the old He-Man cartoons. Nah, nah, that killed nostalgia pretty badly. 
The only one of those that survived with nostalgia intact was the old Transformers TV series because I think I'm just stubborn. On the top of your bad old shoes, hey, if you ever get a chance to find either droids or Ewoks, they, those Star Wars cartoons, yeah, you, sh you should watch them, but I warn you now, <laughs> you, your, your nostalgia will not survive, especially Ewoks. Good <laughs> grief. Also, as I mentioned on the Facebook page, I'm doing my bit with the stimulus package. Thank you very much, Mr. Morrison. And I've gone and bought myself a new tripod. It was on sale. Don't worry, I'm still cheap. As a result, I should be able to play around with a couple of new ideas. Uh, one is which I want to actually do some outdoor stuff. Just, I don't know, film under a tree. Also, I can do it in different areas of the house. I might even be able to do it on a location one day. That'd just be funny. Take it into work. Take it to a friend's place. Do something like that. The other thing I was thinking of doing a... Well, you've heard of a Let's Play? Well, I was just going to do a Let's Build. I was going to grab some models, which I've also left out there. As I was saying, I've gone and got some models. Um, some Aeronautica stuff, actually, from Games Workshop. And I was thinking about cracking them open and building them on camera. And just for something else. Just something else to do. And so, like, I could... I, I can build the basic ones and then go to the fighter bombers and then keep moving it up to the bigger stuff, you know, just, just for an experiment. Now I might do some Let's Paint videos of the models I've already constructed in the previous ones. It's an idea, I'll see how that goes. Uh, it could be fun, either way I get to make models, so I'm winning. And lastly, I've been toying around with joining Twitter. And just, you know, the challenge of putting out something daily, just talking about different movie stuff, you know. Ask a question, I want to see what other people think out there. What do you think about that? You know, comment below or on the Facebook page as to whether you think I should venture not so bravely into the social media platforms like that. Uh, th that could be fun. It could be disastrous, but, you know, it could be fun. So that's my short talk, covered a whole bunch of topics, a couple of things that you'll get to have a say in as well, which is cool. But on the whole, things are going fairly well here. Hope everyone else is doing well, hope you're having a great week, and that you find some time to go and watch a movie. At home, because we're not allowed to go out anywhere.